freshman year because you're still, like I said, you're still getting acquainted with campus, you're still getting acquainted with that culture of the university, and also meeting people. So it's all of that. One, I mean, one of the things I'm kind of hearing is maybe there is, I don't know what the best word of this is, but maybe in high school there's a little bit more handles. Like teachers are like, hey, remember, these, these are, you know, they're kind of coaching you over and over and over again. But when you get into Iowa, Iowa State, that's all. It's all on you now. Would that be fair to say? Yeah. Yeah. And you have parent-teacher conferences where, you're like, or your teacher has your parents' contacts, so that you're paying right. tap into that or whatever. So, like, there's another sense of accountability from somebody else. The college, like, you're by there. You like, you're you're there to like learn your own. And there are resources, though. So I don't want to make it sound like this. this you know, you're on your own, and everyone's gonna be yeah. on you. Yeah. You know, there are resources, but it's on you to go find those resources exactly. and ask for that help. Julian and Hira are former student body presidents from the University of Iowa and Iowa State. Guys, I want you to stick around for a little bit longer. We have more to talk about here on Need to Know with Jeff Angelo. I'm Justin Brady filling in News Radio 1040 WHO. Listen every weekday morning for your shot at spinning the wheel of meat to win $100 in high vee meat. And on Fridays, we boost it to $500. Wheel of meat all summer long with Van Abani on News Radio 1040 WHO. Don't miss the summer sales event at BMW of Des Moines. Register and test drive a new BMW and receive a $1,000 credit toward the purchase or lease of your next BMW. Friday and Saturday, July 5th and 6th, enjoy catered food and fun activities. Saturday, July 6th, donate blood and receive a BMW coffee mug. We're BMW of Des Moines on Hickman Road, just east 100, or go to BMWDesMoines.com for details. Must be 18 years of age or older with valid U.S. driver's license. This stock vehicles only. One offer per person per vehicle. No purchase necessary for price drawing. See dealer for details. Iowa Jobs, 130,000. That's how many Iowa jobs rely on trade with Canada and Mexico. Iowa businesses and farmers sell billions in crops, auto parts, and other goods and services to our neighbors. The new USMCA trade agreement will grow Iowa exports by opening new markets and cutting red tape for farmers, manufacturers, and small businesses. Text TRADE to 52886. Tell Congresswoman Cindy Axney that USMCA is important for Iowa jobs. Paid for by Business Roundtable. Prescription products require an online physician consultation and are only available if the physician determines the prescription is appropriate. See website for full details. Hey guys, good news! The outrageously expensive little blue pill is now generic. If you can get the prescription medication to treat ED at affordable prices, it him makes it extra affordable. Right now, get your first month supply for free. All you pay is just five dollars for your medical consultation when you go to 4 slash supply. After that, it's just thirty bucks for a month supply. Sure be paying big bucks for just one blue pill. So that plus, you won't need an awkward in-person doctor's appointment to get the prescription. It has doctors online who can prescribe the medication, and the pharmacy sends it right to your door. It's affordable, private. And incredibly easy. Nobody likes dealing with ED. Now, thanks to him, nobody has to. And that's really good news. To get your first order for just five bucks, you need to go to this exclusive address. Forhim.com slash supply. That's forhim.com slash supply for your first month for just five bucks. Forhim.com slash supply. Well, the good greenhouse and spring weather center. Most of today will be dry across the state, but there is another slight chance for showers and thunderstorms like we saw yesterday. Highs will top out in the mid to upper 80s. The overnight will be dry with increasing cloud cover. Morning lows will be around 70. For Channel 13, I'm meteorologist Amber Alexander. This report is sponsored by Iowa Lottery. Put a little play in your day with new games from the Iowa Lottery. The scratch tickets for Five of Hearts, Joker's Wild, and Nine and a Line are now available at lottery retailers.
be a doctor. Which, I mean, if you look at any young, soft, funny woman, they all have that same thought going. They probably keep, like, the most common thing. And so I was like, I'm going to be the one that makes this. I did not. Um, so, I, you know, I looked for organizations that were focused on medicine. I looked for advisors focused on medicine. Sure. Um, you know, and then I did improv comedy on the side to keep myself sane. Um, and but I think if you mature and you grow through college, that thing that you do on the side, that piece of the pie gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it's a whole pie. Um, and so for me, comedy became a central part of both my leadership and then also the classes that took. I mean, I, it took, um, I kind of took a, a course on stand-up comedy before I realized it was way more work than I could handle my, uh, during my presidency. There's but a course on stand-up comedy. There is. Yeah, 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 yeah it's okay. much more rigorous than most of the other courses I had taken. Um, <laughs> Kind of down here, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you look at it, there's a lot of doctors, not very many famous stand up comedians, so I'll just say I think it's harder to Something like Patch Adams. Right. right. <laughs> it's real, though. Um, but yeah, so, and I think, um, I think students really need to focus in on their student work more than their classes and then build their academic courses based off of where they're excelling on their free time. Um, and for me, that was student government, and then that leads into now, you know, graduated with ethics and public policy and interdepartmental studies versus medicine being my major and me sticking to the ground on that and then doing all of the medicine student organizations. So I think we really need to flip the way that we teach students to figure out where their heart is. What would be safe to say change happens and just be prepared for change to happen? The yeah. things you think you like now are going to change, and that's okay. Yeah. Um, so how about you? How about you? What, what, are, what is one thing you just wish you could look back and say, oh, I wish I could do that over? Honestly, I don't have anything I would change. Um, for the past couple months since I've graduated, I've definitely looked at like my experience at Iowa State, and I think the challenges and also the accomplishments that I've had. And honestly, I don't, like, I, during those challenges, like, oh, it's heartbreaking, it's so stressful. But now looking back at it, it, it taught me a lesson more than anything, so I'm actually grateful for those challenges and those hurdles that I um, had to endure. Um, and what I tell everybody is, like, it's a learning experience. Like, you really have to go with the flow sometimes. Um, like here was saying, like, you're in an extracurricular um, activity, either if you're an organization, if it's a county sorority, if it's a uh, philanthropy. Um, sometimes that is something that you really have to hone in just to be able to, like, step back. Step back.